This is all from the animated type in Photoshop. Animating with variable type, create an Instagram story with variable types using Photoshop. That is how we're getting all our different type options. Slide these around and you know decide how you want this to look. And you can grab these handles and kind of move them around when I'm animating and you can kind of just move things around, see what you're working with. I just started with a new project, 1080 by 1920 vertical, just to simulate a phone screen. But I started with solid color laying out type because then you would just press T, type things out as you see fit, type in growth, change the font, which is good. There is a VAR little indicator of variable. So that lets you know that these are variable fonts. And I'm gonna make one adjustment here, change the color, a little more yellow. You can go to window properties and pull that up. I am gonna slide these around so you can see what that looks like. There'll be a little bit of an update. I do wanna make this maximum size. I scale this up by pressing Control or Command T. You can hold down Shift, Alter Option, scales uniform. If you want to, you can use the align tools up at the top and make sure they're set to canvas. And I need to make a copy of this for hone. So if you press alter option and just drag it down, you'll get a copy. Be a little bit smaller. Set this. We want to change this to hone, bringing down our horizontal and verticals. We're going to make this one shrink. Grow is going to grow and hone is going to shrink. Now we're going to move on to the animation part. Layer panel is about to be really popular. Go into window, timeline. We have a timeline. I'm gonna split this again. It's just making another copy. Over in our layers panel, you just see another copy. Just grab these, press hold alt or option and drag up. Copy five, copy six, copy seven, and copy eight. But then you gotta move these over, which you can grab more than one just by holding shift and press uh, control or command to deselect one of them. This one I'm gonna go ahead and drag out to our full three seconds. Now we can animate. We're going to be uh, changing the values in the variable. We could do this linearly where it's just like a machine moving, but I want it to be a little more organic. So I wanna have a little bit of ease in and out. Start off with increments of five. We need to start with zero for growth. We need to turn everything down, our verticals, horizontals, and our lift all need to be set to zero. Moving forward, if we add five, to that an increment of five on our verticals horizontal and lift i'm just going to be moving down the line up five select the next frame add 10 to five select the next layer or frame in this case it is still a layer so then we're at what 20 so that would be 15 plus 20 is 35 and you could make this a lot more frames you could do whatever you want to Right now, they don't have a way to animate these with keyframes. That would be ideal. I'm gonna set the last one to 100. Check our animation. All you have to do is press the space bar once you're in the timeline. We've got some animation going on. We're kind of ready to start timing out and doing all of the rest of the animation. Now we should be able to preview this. Everything's looking good, I think. Let's just take a full screen look at it. Away and leave me to have a wiggle. And I can show you that real quick. Just try to do away. I put this on the fours, so it's gonna be every frame. It's four frames of the same. And after that fourth frame, change in the variable. We have a whole different set of variables. The walk value, just transparency, full clarity. I had to use it once I saw that there was a walk value. And that's actually what we're animating. So it also has a chew and a bite. Here's with a chew on. and then this has a bite which it takes away some chunks i'm going to make this four frames it's going to be a little bit different go back into our layers panel the first one to make a copy drag this over change this to five now you can see that there's a wiggle copy the layer underneath because it already has the setting alt uh, and drag up and make a copy select the layer below it so that it has the um, the variable increment that we want just picking the one below until we get all the ones that we need should be going back and forth probably like three more maybe now if we hit play back you'll see that there's a wiggle on a way thanks everybody and uh we'll see you soon bye